Come on up, Ronnie. Ro Ronnie was talking this game. So we're, uh, Ronnie is a great man of faith. Great man of faith. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I want you to say it again. You're a great man of faith. Yes, sir. Great man of faith. Great man of faith. Ooh, my goodness. <laughs> Did y'all feel that? Great man of faith. Great man of faith. Uh, bring me up a chair, please. Great man of faith. Okay, great man of faith. Great man of faith. Uh, can we get, I need my, where's my, all my helps here? Where's all my guys? Okay, all right. Now, Ronnie, I'd like for you to just flop in this chair, great man of faith. Faith, great man of faith. No, no, that was a sit. I want you to flop, Ronnie. Yeah. See, the reason I'm holding the chair, I don't want it to, to fall. Flop, Ronnie. Just, just, that was kind of a flop. But see, you keep looking behind like some trick is going. Oh, no, do you see, did you, see, whenever you bend your knees first, that is a sit. The flop. <laughs> Great man of faith. Ah, now, now, do we all agree that that was a flop? Can we agree that was a flop? All right, that was a flop. But now, you see, you passed the flop test. Come on. Now, let's understand that that was a flop in logic. What we want, I said, and you confirmed, I called up a man of faith, and you said, I'm the man. That was a flop in logic. And so where we're going is we must clearly understand the separation of what God is calling us to versus what we have been utilizing or believing is faith. Now, I want you to see the chair there. You see it? You see it? You see there's a chair there. Okay, now close your eyes. This is where the journey begins. Now, we're going to go on a walk from bondage to freedom. The journey God begins to take us on, keep your eyes closed, is a journey that begins to build within us a new level of confidence and trust in him. The world has built your trust in stuff, things of the past that defines your now. You're great because of all of the stuff of the past. In many cases, we can inherit the past, inherit the past. And so we define how powerful we are by the cars we have and about money. And if we don't have it, we don't, we're not powerful, we're not important. But God began to take the children of Israel on a new journey, this journey that they would learn now to walk under their new dispensation of faith. Not by logic, not by the stuff of the past, but by the things of now, by trusting him, a new brand of living. And so they come finally to the Jordan. They come now to the Jordan. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. And just as they had to learn and learn to live by what they saw, building trust on things they saw. They now will have to live life by trusting every word of God. No longer by what they see on the outside, because we talked earlier, the things on the outside come from our vision, our imagination, birthing of the invisible to the physical. So he began now to develop those that can begin to produce things into the world. So there will no longer have to be limitations because they could now be his instrument on earth as he is in heaven that he could speak to them the invisible that they now, by trusting him, by faith, could produce in the physical. No longer dependent upon things of the world of the past, the things and stuff, but by every word of God. How many get, begin to understand what I'm saying? Whole new dispensation. Not sitting because we saw looking to the past to define the now. 
But looking up a new dispensation, what did God say about it? The trusting God's word. And strangely enough, God always seems to use people to speak through his word. And you can test the spirit by the spirit. And so God would use Moses. There was always a deliverer, the Gideons, the Deborahs. There were always deliverers that God would speak through, the Davids. On and on we can go. God would speak through those. And yet, if people listened, they would know by the Spirit and followed. The kingdom would come. This new invisible kingdom now coming to earth. And so Ronnie, great man of faith. Great, come on, he's what? Great man of faith. I'm going to ask you to flop. As you flopped. As you flopped in faith, so must you flop. As you flopped in logic, so must you flop in faith. You can't sit. You can't back up. There will always be the words of those that will try and protect you. Those that would say, nay, sir, don't do it. It's going to hurt. Be safe, Ronnie. But you are going to have to know the sound, great man of faith. Save yourself. It's going to hurt. Nothing will come Those are the well-meaning uncles and aunts and mamas. And All of the words. Great man of faith. Anytime you're ready. You can't sit. You can't go halfway. You must either, you're there, you must go all the way. Great man of faith, no different than the flop of logic. When you're ready. Woo! All right! Woo! All right. Now, Ronnie, where's another mic? May I get one more mic? Can we get it real quick, please? So, Ronnie, I want you to, now I want to hear your heartbeat. Hold on, hold oh, on. <laughs> now, now listen. Remember we started talking earlier about that most people, can I get this erased real quick for somebody? Most, um, most of us, we, we want to live a life we think is of God. And we, we think this is peace. Remember? But God says he come to bring us life and life more what? Is your heart beating? <laughs> are you sleepy? Yeah. I said, are you sleepy right now? Oh. Are you sleepy right now? No. Right now, are you sleepy with your heart beating like Not that? At Not, at Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> because there, your heart is beating, there's life and life more abundantly. But this is what most of us are tired because we're not taking faith risks. Now, tell us... What were you willing to do, Ronnie, in order to, 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 to obey your spirit? What were you prepared to do in order to get into that chair? Bust my head. <laughs> now, did you hear what he said? <laughs> I want you to hear what he said. He was willing, not that he wanted. You didn't want to bust your head, did you? No, not at all. <laughs> but he was willing to fall. To bust his head. And the word of God in Matthew 10 says, if you hold to your life, you'll lose it. But if you're willing to lose your life for the word's sake, you will gain life and life more abundantly. The heart is beating. He's starting to, eyes are opening, the passion of life. Many of us are not, are bored and tired, bitter, upset, angry, frustrated, passionless, because we're not moving. We're not taking the kingdom risk and calling. Preach to us as we close your session. Great man of faith. You've demonstrated. <laughs> Tell us what you've learned from that experience. Um, your walk away. Well, I've always been the type of person to, to do 
not kind of not rebellious, but I've always been the person that did what everybody said not to do, but just to show faith and just to attest to it. So um, I've always been a person of faith, and now that just made me, because I don't know anybody, I don't really know them like that, so that just made my faith go from here to even higher because it's just another level in faith. A level in faith. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Ronnie.